Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you have been watching anime for a while, you have come across many types of main characters. Some that are funny, some that are evil, some have superpowers, and others that are relatively normal. However, there are some that are really sad and even depressed. But even so, sometimes their backstories drive the anime really well. Sometimes those kinds of themes are really intensely portrayed. So if you are triggered by such, I would recommend you watch other kinds of anime. Disclaimer aside, in today's video we're going to be looking at some great anime with a depressed main character. Starting off the list, we have Myself, Yourself. This anime is 13 episodes long and has a rather large group of 6 main characters. It was first released in October of 2007 and falls under categories like drama and romance. In this anime, we see one of the main characters leave his friend group as he moves away from his hometown. Years later, he returns to discover that the friends he knew when he left are not the same people they are now. <laughs> Next up, we have Orange. Everyone has wondered at least once how much better their life would be if they could tell their younger selves what happens and warn them of doing things that will eventually have a bad end. What we often don't think about is what it would be like for our past self to receive this information. With the first episode being released in July of 2016, we watch a story unfold as a main character gets a letter from her future self warning her about what is to come. Next, we have Kiznaivo. Katsuhira Agata is a rather reserved teenager who doesn't seem to feel pain, and this subsequently makes him a human punching bag for the bullies around him. Just because he feels nothing doesn't mean the people around him don't, and when everyone is linked so that one person's pain can be felt by others that are linked, things start to get interesting. あなたが嫌がらないから。あなたが嫌がらないから。Moving on, we have Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei, also known by another name, Goodbye Teacher Despair, which describes perfectly the emotional state of the teacher, Nozomu Itoshiki, who cannot handle anything bad happening to him, otherwise he experiences a catastrophe. With a teacher like this, it's no wonder his students also have rather extreme personalities. <laughs> Next up, we have Welcome to the NHK. 24 episodes of comedy, drama, and even a little bit of romance. We have the show, which revolves around the main character believing that an evil organization is secretly out to get him. And that organization is known as the Nihon Hikikomori Kyokai, or the NHK for short. <laughs> Oh, 
俺は最初からここに来る予定だったじゃないか<音声>っていたあの手紙がただのいたずらである可能性だこちらで相手と使用してる。Next, we have Your Line April. If you are a fan of music or maybe you play an instrument yourself, then this is a really good anime, regardless of whether you like the themes explored in it or not. With really good animations and falling into genres like drama, comedy, and romance, we see the main character, Kusei Arima, struggling through his life as an amazing pianist who doesn't play anymore. Next, we have Darker Than Black, aired from April of 2007 to the end of September. We have a series that everyone has at least heard of, if not seen. With 26 episodes in season 1 and 12 episodes in season 2, it also has 4 OVAs released as well as a suspected season 3 to be released either in 2021 or 2022. So it is definitely not something that you'll finish quickly. Moving on, we have Serial Experiments Lane. Here we have the anime that many people have loved, but it also happens to be a rather mature show that can be hard to follow at times. Exploring mysteries and confusion with an amazing art style. We experience genres like drama and mystery, all with a supernatural feel to it. Next up, we have Grisaya no Kajitsu. Also known by its English name, The Fruit of Grisaya, we have the story of a boy who transfers to a seemingly normal high school until he realizes that there's almost nothing normal about it. He goes through the anime helping those around him and ends up making friends along the way. <laughs> Next, we have March Comes In Like a Lion. This is the story of a boy named Rei Kiriyama, who is helped out of a rather depressing state by a group of sisters, who build him up after he has broken down. First aired in October of 2016, this show falls into the more mature genres such as Seinen and Drama. で
And with that, we have come to the end of the video. If you liked it, you can subscribe for more videos like this and leave a comment about what anime you have enjoyed. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.